and Carrie Hollihan to tell you about my new book, Ghosts Unveiled. It's in a series for readers like you that's called Creepy and True. Now, I've written about mummies. They are creepy and true. Plus, I'm working on a project about bones, and that would be victims of mayhem and murder, both creepy and true. But when Abelman's Books for Young Readers asked me to write a book about ghosts, I had to think about it. I asked myself, ghosts are creepy, but are ghosts true? I started reading ghost stories, lots of ghost tales. But then I realized that these were stories, not real accounts of people's ghostly experiences. So I began to ask around, and what I discovered is pretty darn cool. Many, many folks have had encounters with ghosts. I spoke with people from Australia, Korea, and Canada. I read reports, lots of them, from Mexico, Ethiopia, Japan, China, India, Scotland, and Sweden. And what I learned has filled this book. There are ghosts on trains and ghosts on planes, plus ghosts on pirate ships as well as ghosts in the United States Capitol and ghosts in the Kremlin in Russia. Ghosts of Abraham Lincoln, a ghost of Anne Boleyn, a ghost of Captain Kidd, and two more creepy English rulers who each lost his head. Our four-footed friends, like dogs and cats, pay us ghostly visits, too. But the best part was interviewing my family. We have a ghost story that took place in my room when I was a very little girl. Then there's my nephew's encounter with the ghost of a small boy. And, much more recently, a sighting right in my no neighborhood in Blue Ash, Ohio. You might not think ghosts are true, but when you lay eyes on Ghosts Unveiled, you might have second thoughts.